In the optimization course that I teach, students are frequently asked to look at an optimization problem and identify the elements of the function to be optimized or identify the elements of the constraints. This is an easy question, but it sounds hard at first because of the unfamiliar language. We have to be able to tell what they mean when they ask for these things and what it is we are pulling out of our word problem to answer it correctly. In this problem, I must have at least 25 tomato plants in my garden, at least 15 lettuce plants, and no more than 20 lettuce plants. I pay $2 for each tomato plant and $3 for each lettuce plant. When I am asked to give the elements of the function to be optimized, what I am asked to do is to find the information that I would use to build my optimization function, my optimization equation, and that's always the information that has to do with money. I pay $2 for each tomato plant and $3 for each lettuce plant can be converted, translated into math language and an equation. But in this case, I'm just being asked to give the elements. What I'm being asked to do is give the information that will later be translated into a mathematical equation. So what I have to do is simply repeat in point form this information that has to do with money. The elements of the function to be optimized are $2 for each tomato, plant, and three dollars for each lettuce, plant. I have given the elements of the function to be optimized. Over here I'm being asked to give the elements of the constraints. The constraints are all the limits that are placed on my situation. All of the things that involve numbers that place limits around me guiding my actions. 